seeing the conversions you want from your Facebook and TikTok ads? What if I told you there's one game changing element missing from your ads that is guaranteed to increase your sales? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you how improving just one variable in your ads can help you drive more revenue. Trust me, it's so simple to implement. And once you know this, you'll see a massive increase in conversions like never before. So let's not waste any more time and dive right in. Okay, I'm not gonna keep you guessing any longer. The trick is in your hold rate. In case you didn't know, your hold rate measures how engaging your ads are. Hold rate matters because it tells you if people are paying attention to your ads or not. So let me explain this to you in monkey banana terms. Imagine a monkey eating a banana. If monkey eats the whole banana without getting distracted, it has a high hold rate. But if monkey gets distracted by juicy apple and doesn't finish banana, it has a low hold rate. The monkey is the customer, the banana is your ad, and the apple is all the other distractions competing for the customer's attention. In short, a high hold rate means that people are interested in your ad and are therefore more likely to buy your product. And if there's one thing you should absolutely be optimizing for, it's your hold rate. So I'm going to give you all my tips and tricks for how you can keep viewers watching your ads so you can ultimately convert more customers. Look, we're in 2023 now and things have changed. Real talk, if you're out here trying to sell your product by listing all its features, you are doing it wrong. Customers don't give a about that stuff. What they do care about is what's in it for them. What do I get? Sure, there are exceptions to the rule like food and supplement brands, but for the most part, people don't give a two sh that your snowboarding jacket is made of ultra high tech material. All they want to know is whether it'll keep them warm and stylish on the slopes. This isn't 2018 anymore. So those old school ads that focus on features, yeah, they're not going to cut it anymore. The creative game has changed and it's time for you to adapt. Customers want to know how your product is going to solve their problems, make their lives easier or enhance their well being. Get rid of the technical jargon and focus on the benefits. That's how you're going to grab their attention and make people want to buy from you. Don't just tell them about your product. Show them why they need it in their life. I need it. And if you can do that, you'll be one step closer to making those sales and taking your business to the next level. So let me tell you a story about one of our clients. Let's call her Becky. When Becky came to us, she was on the struggle bus trying to scale. Despite having a great product, top of the line ingredients, and years of experience in the beauty industry. But month after month, her sales were stagnant and she couldn't figure out why. So we took a step back and looked at her campaigns. And what we found was a laundry list of technical features that no one gives a shit about. Ultra hydrating formula, antioxidant rich ingredients, stop. So we got rid of all of that and instead talked about what matters to people, which is looking and feeling great. In our ads, we talked to potential customers like they're our best friends, and we shared stories that people can actually relate to, like feeling self-conscious about their skin and wanting to feel confident. And I shit you not, Becky's sales almost doubled the next month, and then sales jumped 30% the month after that. And honestly, seeing her go from feeling stuck to now growing her office space and building a bigger team has been so awesome. So when people ask me what my why is, it's this. Knowing that I can have such a big impact on our clients' lives, like nothing is more fulfilling. And my younger self would be so proud because when I first set out to build this agency, huh? I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. Like I could barely log into Facebook, let alone tell you what the hell the pixel was. So anyway, all that to say, I am so freaking proud of all the work my team has done. They have been my rock. And if you've been thinking about scaling your ads, reach out to us because we're here to help, but no pressure, just a chance to see what we can do for you. Cause at the end of the day, we're all about helping you succeed. And I'm so confident that we can help you that if you don't see better results in the first 90 days, will work for free. So that being said, let me take this one step further and give you the real secret to selling your product. Forget about the features, right? Hell, forget about the product itself. Instead, I want you to focus on the outcome. Sell the outcome, not the product. So picture this. You're shredding down the mountain, the wind rushing past you, and you feel like a freaking boss. You catch yourself in the mirror and damn, you look good. That new jacket you bought isn't just keeping you warm and dry. You look cool as fuck wearing it. 
It's giving style, it's giving confidence and main character energy. So when it comes to selling your product, forget the specs and the features, sell the feeling of gliding down the mountain in a cool ass jacket. That's what people are after. And when you can sell them that feeling, that experience, that's where the magic happens. It's like magic. Okay, listen closely. If you're not using text overlays in your creatives, you are missing out on some serious conversions. It's insane how many people still aren't using this super simple technique. Are you dumb? No. But it's not just about adding text to your videos and images. It's about using text in the right way. And let me tell you, it makes all the difference. Let me remind you that half of all users scroll mm. without sound. Yeah. 50%. And if you're launching ads without text, you're missing out on half your market. Do you really want to do that to yourself? I didn't think so. But it's not just about capturing those soundless scrollers, right? Text grabs attention and makes your creatives stand out. Look, if I see an ad without text, I'm immediately scrolling past it. It's a surefire way to tell me that they don't care enough to get my attention. And if they don't care, why should I? No text, not worth my attention. And let's not forget about speed because text gets your message across faster than anything else. Imagine running a flash sale without text. That's just plain idiotic. You would never do that. Right, <laughs> obviously, obviously, yeah. obviously. Use text to communicate your offer, qualify your audience and convert those views into customers. By the way, let me give you a pro tip. If you are running a sale, make sure your text is in the beginning or throughout the video. Don't make the mistake of putting it at the very end because people will just assume everything is full price. If you want to make your ad creatives work for you, you need to be using text overlays plus voiceovers. Use the AI text to speech feature if you have to, but don't be the one missing out on those sales because you're too lazy to add some text. Now, if you've ever launched video ads, but your hold rate looks like this, I'm about to learn you on how we've mastered the art of retention with our creatives so that your hold rate goes from this to this. Now here's exactly what we do and what I advise our clients. If you decide to deviate from this framework, well, that's totally fine and up to you if you wanna do it your way, but this is an approach that we've tested extensively and has proven to get results time and time again. So if you wanna keep viewers engaged, you need to use quick cuts and lots of zooms. Trust me, the more frame changes there are, the better your creative will perform. Short form content has destroyed everyone's attention span. So the more frame changes you use, the better your watch time and the better your conversion rate. You wanna keep the pacing fast, but still understandable. Having a fast speaker also helps, especially if you're marketing to Gen Z or millennials. However, we have seen that slower paced videos can work well for the over 45 crowd. Once you've got your pacing down, it's all about using different angles and shots. Don't show the same boring scene over and over again. People need to be visually stimulated with bright colors, fast movement, and a variety of visuals. It's like your ad on crack. Say crack again. Crack. These things have a much bigger impact than you think. Ultimately, your goal is to keep people watching until the very end. After all, the longer someone watches your video, the more likely they are to convert into a customer. So let me give you another example, right? We've got a client that sells supplements. Not super exciting, but hear me out. Instead of listing out all the ingredients and droning on about their patented formula, we decided to show how the supplements could fit into people's daily routines. So we started testing out vlog style formats. And let's call this character Chloe, okay? One clip would show Chloe getting out of bed, another clip brushing her teeth, and the next clip her getting ready for the day. Again, keeping the pacing fast with frequent cuts to keep people engaged. Then we'd show her eating breakfast and she'd take a stack of different supplements from the same brand. We wanted to weave the products into a story so that it's part of her day-to-day -day routine. Pro tip, if you can, whitelist through creators accounts and you will be blown away with the results. Now, let me tell you why this works. It's because of the law of familiarity. When customers start to associate your product with their daily habits, they are more likely to purchase. We are still running tons of vlog style ads for this client to this day because they Rush. By the way, did you know Kit Kat did a similar campaign with coffee? Back in the day, they had the genius idea of making people take a break while enjoying a Kit Kat with a cup of coffee. This campaign was such a huge hit that it made Kit Kat the go-to snack for coffee breaks. It did so well, in fact, when it first launched in Japan that they did the same thing in other countries. This just goes to show you that when you connect a product with something familiar, it can sell like 
crazy. I'm selling like hotcakes in Japan. Now that you've mastered the art of retention, the real key is how to put everything together in the full ad framework. I'm telling you, the next video is one you've been waiting for. I'm holding nothing back. Hold me back. And we'll be sharing my exact blueprint for creating show-stopping ads from beginning to end. And if you're ready to take your campaigns to the next level, reach out to us via the link below. I can promise you that together, we can get you even better results than you're seeing right now. We're only accepting two new clients this month, then my calendar is closed for good. That being said, if you're still struggling to get people to even watch your ads, you'll want to watch my last video where I do a deep dive into all the hooks that are working right now. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.